the Fargo Five. We're here with Tony Tilton talking Fargo fun. We've got ValleyCon coming up this week, so sure. we were just talking about the whole history of it, but now I want to yeah. talk about what you should expect when you're there. So oh, yeah. when is it? It's this weekend, right? It this, is this Friday. Weekend, yep. And it where's, Friday. where's Actually, it at? Actually, it really kicks off Thursday night at the oh. Fargo Theater because they, we have the Fargo Fantastic Film Festival, which oh. I created two years after being one of the founders of the Fargo Film Festival. Yeah. And it was for genre films, sci-fi, fantasy, horror, thrillers, you know, the, anything except dramas <laughs> that was so what point. can you expect there's a night is that going to be a raucous party or well it, it can be i mean it, not raucous i mean it, with the fargo film festival the fargo fantastic film festival kicks off thursday night at the fargo theater seven o'clock um it's only five bucks to get in and it's kind of a best of not complete all best of but a lot of the best of films and um that's just the kickoff of the fest in previous years we've had our main guest be there present like Sam Jones, the star of Flash Gordon. We showed Flash Gordon with Sam there, you know, stuff like that. Uh, two years ago, we had Sean Patrick Flannery, and we did Boondock Saints. Wow! You know, wow! So, yeah, and so we've been doing it this year. Um, Adrian Paul is our main guest at ValleyCon, um, media guest. He doesn't really have a major film that's worth putting on the screen. Himself, <laughs> Highlander Endgame is not the one you want to put up there. Either. So, um, so we just said we'll just keep it a film thing, and so he's coming in. Um, for the event, but then ValleyCon kicks off on Friday, 3.30 p.m. We open the doors at the Holiday Inn in Fargo, the Holiday Inn, the, the major. The where, and so where's that at? That's across the street yeah, from right, West right Acres? Right from West Acres, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, the yeah. convention center Holiday Inn, not the, not cool. the Express or anything Of course. Like it's just Holiday Inn. <laughs> um, and it's, we take over the entire hotel, like I said, we could use another 20,000 square feet easily, which you'll see yeah. when you come in. Um, big vendors set up, of course, and we, we've, we're proud of the fact that we started an artist alley of low cost areas in the halls for artists who don't have the money to put together like a booth. Yeah. And our booths are inexpensive anyway. It's like 125 bucks for the booth, you know, um, which is a pittance. Very affordable. Other yeah. Event. Yeah. But our artist alley starts at like 40 bucks. And that's so you can get a six foot table and you can present your wares there. Now, we've had a few people that are vendors bending the rules and jumping in on those spaces. Yep. The only issue is that they have to tear down at night because that's an open space for everybody to walk around in. And so you, you run into those issues. But it's the whole thing is vendors, artists, and then meeting spaces. And we have our main stage, which is a large space. That's two of the large rooms at Holiday Inn. And then a couple of the other rooms are panel rooms and we use for other functions. Then we have gaming in the mezzanine area. And everybody, people dress up a lot for this. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. A, especially it's October. I think people are in the, in the mood to well, <laughs> dress up. we have up. a costume contest on Saturday night, official one, and, uh -huh. and, and kids' costume contest at noon on Saturday. But... We also have a, throughout the day on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we do a roving costume contest. So if you're in costume, you might get a $20 ValleyCon oh, box gift certificate. Hey. So come on through. And, and so what kind of costumes? Because it's anything, fan anything any fantastical. Yeah. So, I mean, you're going to see anything Lord goes. of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Anime. Mm -hmm. Are you oh, so? Are of, you so? Anime. We were talking when we were talking about the past. You know, mm -hmm. anime wasn't a thing in the no. '70s, or was it? I mean, it was not. Nobody knew what anime was. Now it. we have whole it anime even, conventions. Anime didn't even get here until the mid 2000s. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it it and it only started with really Comic Junction was the only one doing anime stuff. So it it was a slow burn on anime. It's only recently that it's gotten very popular, and um, we've always had anime as part of ValleyCon. It's been a a, a part it's not the part and it's not a huge part but we do have anime and we have a lot of people do anime characters and stuff that's great and we in years past we've had an anime room specifically just for anime oh. this year we don't have it the last couple years we haven't because of covid and the guy who ran it was kind of scared of yeah. everything with mm -hmm. COVID. Mm -hmm. so we're hoping to get it that back for next year and um working on that as well but it's one of those things that it's a, we're a volunteer group and it's like let's say people ask me, well, why don't you have this sort of volunteer to help? Yeah. <laughs> if you want something, yes. why don't you get involved and yes. put your money where your mouth yes. is? It's it, always been my number one peeve with people that want to complain but never. They want don't to want step to put up. in the work, and they exactly. don't want to. They don't want to build it themselves. Exactly. If you're not going to step up, at least have a some kind of solution that we can use, you know, rather than just a complaint. I mean, complaints are fine, but what are we going to do with that? So how much does something like this cost? Should you get tickets in advance, or do you get them at the door? You can get them at the door. It's much more, more uh, it's, it's a better cost savings to get them as a pre-registration. And yeah. we start... When does pre-registration close? Well, 
it closed. It's actually closed right now, so mm. it's at the door. Um, you can get day passes still online, but that'll close on Wednesday. Then everything is at the door. Oh, you know, we got to give ourselves a day or two to get caught up. On when that, the so. the website is just valley valleycon dot com, so v a l l e y c o n dot com. Right, and you go there, and there's a big button that says "click here for registration." Go there, and it should, goes to our other page, which which has all our tickets and everything for and sale. And what, what's the day pass? Does it matter on age? So I've got it a I've got a four year old and a two year old. Totally matters on age, yeah, because um, if you're under five and under is free. Oh, um, oh and cool. so we have what's called a discount pass, which covers a wide range of, of people. We call it students. Basically, anybody is in school, no yeah. matter what age you are, or if you're an educator, oh. or if you're um, EMS, police, fire, veteran, or active military, all and actually healthcare workers too. They're all covered under the discount pass, and so that's about half the price. Of, to maybe 60% of the price of the regular adult oh, pass. Oh, wow. And then the adult pass, if you have a, re- you know, pre-registration was 35 bucks for, 30 bucks actually early on for the entire weekend. Okay. Uh, at the door is going to be 49 For um, the whole weekend? Yeah, for the whole weekend, and, which is still really And great. at the door, you can only get the whole weekend, so there's no day passes? No, no, no. You can get a day pass at the door. Okay, and what's, yep. a, what's a day pass? Day pass depends on the day. Oh, Friday, okay. I believe, and again, your age, you know, if you're an adult or a day pass, um, Discount or anything else? It's on the website. It's, probably, yes. it's better for me to. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Just because I'm. I I'm very interested in going, like and t- I'm imagining it's bringing like 10 my four-year-old. Friday and like fifteen <laughs> or some Saturday, and then okay. if you want to do all day Saturday, because there's some people that just want to combine the evening for party time on yeah. Saturday. So we have a separate pass for that, or you can do a combo thing. But the other thing too, first year, um, we have a gaming pass, which we've never <laughs> done before. Um, mainly because a lot of gamers just want to come there and do tournament gaming and stuff like that, but they don't necessarily, they're not interested in the rest. And when you get into a tournament, like a magic tournament, you have to buy into it because you have to purchase a pack. Well, they didn't want to pay, pay 40 bucks and then also buy a pack of cards at the same time. And I get that. So we did a gaming pass so they could do that. And then if they want to upgrade to a day pass, it's the price difference. So if a day pass is 15 bucks, they spent five just for another ten. They could get a day pass and go in through the rest of the con. Very cool. Yeah. And so that is happening in just a few days. Yeah. All kinds of uh, everything you can imagine from the world of fantasy. Yep. Fantasy, Defin- definitely check that out. Horror, everything. Yeah. We are uh, coming up to Rivers of Nihil. This is uh, from, and I think my friend Jeff Shaw is going to be listening right now. Uh, the Silent Life. This is some metal. This is some hardcore metal. Not the kind of stuff I listen to. Uh, Jeff sends me this music all the time. Uh, my wife will hear it and go, did Jeff send that to you? Because uh, I do you, do you listen to metal or what kind of music do you bit. listen to? A little bit. A little I, bit of everything. I'm more classic rock guy. But yeah. yeah, I'd say classic rock myself. Yeah. So uh, we will uh, maybe not listen uh, very loudly in the studio here, but uh, everybody in Radioland can enjoy, and we will be back with Fargo Frequently Asked Questions. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> 